continue to work to help those disproportionately affected by COVID-19 in Kern County as vaccine rollouts gain traction. 23 ABC's Kylie Walker finds out how the community is helping certain groups impacted by the most uh, to help them protect themselves against the virus. As vaccine availability increases, community officials continue with their outreach efforts, whether that's through means of transportation to a vaccination site, financially or through education, because big or small, they just want to help through these already trying times. You know, we can go out and we can do a grassroots approach, you know, and that's the best that we can do. But until uh, our municipalities um, recognize us and understand that we need these funding as well, then um, it's just going to be up to us. Nick Hill, the president and CEO of the Black Chamber of Commerce, says that while the county has helped this past year in some ways when it comes to slowing the spread of COVID-19, he would like to see more being done for the African-American communities. We're being affected six to one. It's a six to one ratio. And as of Sunday, according to the state public health department's website, more than 10.5 million vaccines have been administered with over 158,000 of those administered here in Kern County. And statewide numbers show that more than 32% of those vaccines were administered to white people, 17% to Latino, 12% were Asian American, and just under 3% were black. And Hill says they would like to do more to help those numbers grow and looks at one group as motivation. Well, it's education and outreach. Uh, both those things are lacking in the African-American uh, community. But the one bright spot is the Latino uh, task force. Hill says the Latino COVID task force and their co-founder, Jay Tamsey, has helped with testing and other concerns, and not just with the Latino communities. We saw the numbers rising in Kern. We saw them rising nationwide. We have to do something about it. And so we rolled up our sleeves. And with the latest updated number showing that Latinos have the highest death rates in the county, Tamsi acted quick, which is why the task force started Project Abuelita, a hotline for COVID-19 questions to help non-English and disabled speakers. We schedule them and our, and our operators are, are scheduling them to go into different areas of Kern County to get tested. And as well as um, we have some folks who will be able to provide um, transportation so that they can get there because that's a really big deal as well. Transportation is, is huge. And while the process has been frustrating at times, he praises the county for working with his task force and bringing some vaccination sites to farm workers in the near future. Tamsi says this is a step in the right direction. You know, we all want that our lives back. We all want to see our grandparents and our families, and I think that uh, this vaccine brings hope. Now, if you'd like to seek help for issues surrounding the pandemic, like scheduling a vaccine appointment, we will have some of these resources on our website, turn to 23.com. In Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23BC, connecting you.